I'm Deacon Frederick Bartels. Thank you for joining me for Living Lent videos. Today is Tuesday of Holy Week, day 42 of Lent. In today's Gospel from John chapter 13, Jesus predicts that one of his disciples will betray him. That betrayer is, of course, Judas Iscariot. After Jesus hands Judas a morsel of food, he tells him to do whatever he's going to do quickly. The evangelist John then tells us that Satan entered Judas and he left at once, and it was night. John's gospel is rich in symbolism. When John says it was night, he's describing the spiritual condition of Judas. He's overcome with spiritual darkness and blindness because of his plan to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Let's contrast the situation of Judas with Simon Peter. After Judas leaves, Jesus tells his disciples that he will be glorified. He's speaking about his crucifixion and resurrection. And he tells his disciples that he will be with them only a little while longer, and where he is going, they cannot come. Peter then questions Jesus about this, saying, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow me later. Peter said to him, Master, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. Peter, of course, denied Jesus three times. Yet he repented and became truly dedicated as a disciple of Jesus. As we know, Peter was the first pope of the church and leader of the apostles. He was crucified upside down by the emperor Nero. He followed Jesus all the way to the point of death on a cross. He indeed did lay down his life for Jesus. There is an important lesson in this for us. First, we must never expect the leaders of the church to be perfect in every way, just as we ourselves are not perfect. Next, when we do fail and fall into sin, even the very worst sin, Christ's mercy and forgiveness is always available to us, provided that we are truly repentant. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, you have given me the greatest of all gifts. You offered yourself on the cross and rose again, that I may have life in abundance. Grant me the grace of true repentance, that I may turn from my sin and seek your love and mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, reflect on the importance of repentance. With that in mind, make every effort to receive the sacrament of confession before Holy Thursday in order to fully prepare for the Triduum and Easter Sunday. May Christ bless you on your Lenten journey.